Go ahead. So while nothing is finalized until the bylaw is done, and I hope the bylaw will come in the early part of next year, this is a tremendous step forward. I am so very happy today that Council has voted with an overwhelming majority to fix this process. And it's not just about saving time at Council or putting things with administration that should be with administration. It's about saying to all of the people who live in secondary suites that we believe in you, that we believe that you deserve a little bit of dignity, a little bit of safety, and every single citizen deserves to live in a safe, decent place. So I am very happy about this. And you were saying, though, does it go, before we stop there, does it go far enough? Yeah, so I would have preferred to see the basement suites become permitted use. Um, and I expect that that will happen in time when people realize that when it's within the four walls of the building, it's not that big a deal. Right now, both, both basement and backyard suites and above garage suites, all three of them, I should say, will go into what's called discretionary use. So that basically means that when you want to build one, you come to City Hall or you go online and you fill out an application for a development permit. If you meet all the rules, then you're issued a development permit. You'll have to pay a small fee, which Council just voted on. Uh, and then you will be issued the development permit. Your neighbours will have the right to appeal that permit if, they're, if they are concerned about it. Uh, and if they don't appeal or if the appeal is disallowed, then you have to apply for a building permit and you can go ahead and build. And that means that you have to bring the suite up to code. You have to make sure that it is safe. Uh, and those are all the kinds of things we want. If it were permitted, you would skip the step of the development permit and the appeal in some cases. Uh, it would be a little less red tape, but this means you no longer have to come to council. It'll be a much shorter process and it'll be a much cheaper process. The Parkdale fire from 2009 was referenced a few times. Why is it taking eight years to have Gosh. that needed safety? Was it 2009? I thought I was January already mayor. Okay. I think we've had one since. That didn't get as much publicity. This is our primary concern. It is looking after people's safety, and that's why it's been so frustrating to me for seven years that Council has been looking at this from an internal lens instead of the lens of safeguarding people's lives. And I'm glad that Councillor Farrell named those young people who died in the Parkdale fire today because that's who we're doing this for, and that's what really matters. Was it just persistence? Is it new blood? What is it that caused the change? Persistence, exhaustion, new blood, uh, people thinking about this differently. You know the old proverb, success has many parents, but failure is an orphan. Um, a lot of people came together and worked, worked hard on this. And you know, my staff drafted the motion. They worked with councillor staff to do it. Um, councillor Keating added his own flavor uh, and moved this forward. And basically, you just saw a lot of people saying, this was the biggest failure of the previous two councils, and this new council needs to get it right right at the beginning. So I'm so pleased about that. The well, fees that are being reinstated, how much are they? Right now, they're about $470 per application. Per application. However, uh, the motion specifically said out-of-pocket fees only, which probably means that it would be a little bit less than that. What will council do with all the extra time? Oh, we will fill the time. Do not <laughs> you worry about that. We will find ways to spend long time debating things that people don't care about, like our seating arrangement. <laughs> the fact that, the fact the that it's discretionary, chamber. isn't that going to lead to the successful vote? Because if it was a permitted use, then you get away, you take away the avenue of appeal. You know, what's funny is that this, is, this was proposed a long time ago uh, with the previous council, maybe even with the council before that, and it took some members of council a long time to get their heads around it. I'm glad they got their heads around it.